Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Engage Tutorials. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to monitor your FPS, uh, GPU and CPU in video games. Now, as you can see, I'm playing some Rainbow Six and at the top left of the screen, it shows my um, FPS and my graphics card of uh, the percentage it's using, the temperature it's uh, at and the clock speed it is running at. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that and get it set up and um, customize it how you want. All right, guys, so what you need is MSI Afterburner and Riva Tuner Statistics Server, which we have right here. I'm not really sure why that doesn't have uh, an icon, but um, once we have those downloaded and installed, go ahead and open up Riva Tuner Statistics uh, Server, RTSS. I might have to open it up from here. Yes, I do. Okay, so um, here is where we can start kind of customizing um, how the, the the information is displayed on screen. As you can see, you can change the zoom of it. You can change the color. So say we want to make it uh, blue. You can change it to blue. You can put it to whatever you want, green, etc. You can make it the color that you want to make it. You can add a shadow to it. You can have multiple different things. You can change the way it's rendered. A vector 3D is what I like to set it at. So now that we have that set up, that's how it's going to look like on our screen. Now you want to open up MSI Afterburner and go to the settings tab, go to monitoring. And this is how we're going to set up to see, to show what we want. So right now we have GPU power and GPU one temperature set as in on screen display. All you got to do is click on whichever one you want. Make sure this is checked, show an on screen display and it will show up. As you can see, if we, if we uncheck that, it, this will go away. You can also check, um, frame rates. There might be a couple frame rates. Just choose one. Make sure that it is checked as you can see there and make sure it's set to on screen display and we can do the CPU temperatures if you want and the CPU usage or RAM usage, etc. And that's really all you have to do. Click OK. And then the next time you open up a game, let's uh, open up Rainbow Six. And as you can see, once Rainbow Six opens or whatever game you're playing opens, this will show up at the top left. It works for Windows games. So if you buy a game on the Windows Store on Windows 10, it works. And it also works on, um, you know, Ubisoft games or Origin games. So it'll work with whatever game uh, you open up. And it's actually pretty neat to have this up here, especially to monitor, monitor your temps. You don't have to have an external program or anything like that. So that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, definitely drop a like down below. We greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment. Let's do special word of the day. And today's special word of the day is monitor. So put monitor in the comments below and I'll reply to you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.